something stinks. They look nice and lively. Not that you want to make a baby again. shad tank? Look, here's the problem. All the fish stores are closed, so we're going to have to go to PetSmart, and we need, like, hundreds of minnows. One more limited edition Pablo the Paku sticker left. I will be picking the winner from this video. So uh, every single one. <laughs> He's a big boy. Can you see that? Wow. Let's name her Tiffany. All right, Tiffany. So here we are guys, first stop, Lowe's, improving home improvement. We need some stuff. Do you like Lowe's, bud? Yeah. <laughs> Brother Unconventional likes Lowe's too. I love Lowe's, Lowe's is awesome. All right guys, so we're rolling down the lumber aisle. We're looking for some corrugated uh, roofing material, also known as greenhouse roofing. Our boy Joey Mullen, it's the first time I ever seen that used, and I've been using it for years, and this stuff is great. So we're gonna get some. All right, guys. Here we go. Corrugated roofing panels. I like to get the uh, the cheap one. Here's the price ranges here. This stuff is um, kind of like squared off on the top. I don't know if you can see that. And this is straight round, but it's a little bit thicker. And this is what I've used before. So I think this is what I'm gonna buy. 14 bucks and eight foot by 26 inches. We'll have enough to make something else. What? That's where, um, I don't know. Here we are guys. One of my favorite aisles, the pond aisle. I was gonna get some of these sick floating lily pads for the 1100 gallon mega pool pond, but there's no price on it. And uh, it's dark out and there's like nobody here. So it's gonna be a hard pass on the Lily pads. Oh, hold on. Pond Lily multi pack. $9.99. Not bad. Look at these sick lights, guys. It's like what my man IFG has in the bottom of his uh, little beach oasis pond. That thing's sick. For the pond. Danger, right? Do not enter because you have wild fish. But caution. Beware of the megalofish. Pretty sick, guys. Pretty sick. I think we're about done. We're going to go check out because. Look, here's the problem. All the fish stores are closed, so we're going to have to go to PetSmart, and we need, like, hundreds of minnows. So this should be pretty epic. Let's go. All right, guys, so we're kind of out of luck here. Um, no minnows. So we might have to just clean out their whole feeder goldfish tank. We're going to get some goldfish, bud. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, that's... <laughs> Yeah, we have some uh, monsters. Nice. I'm gonna buy them. Be so pissed. Every single one. What do you think, bud? Are we gonna have to make you a little goldfish pond for yourself? Okay. Good talk. Here we are guys. At Academy, we're going to be getting some stuff for the pond today and replacing all the cast nets that Brother Unconventional ripped hunting for the pond monster. Here's what we got last time. We need at least a 10 footer. At least. I say we go with the 12. 12? You're saying go with the 12. Cast net rip king. Okay, we got the 12 footer here. 12 as big as we can go? I think 12 is as big as we can go. I'm probably going to go with the 12 guys because uh... I'm not trying to toot my horn, but I can whip a cast net like none other. So uh, yeah, let's go uh, 12 footer. The Super Spreader RS750 series with the throwing aid. This mini Unconventional just, he, he does whatever he wants. He's a grown man trapped in a tiny person's body. This is a three-nager. Okay, so we need some rope for this bait trap. It's catfish aisle. I'm thinking about getting a trout line. We here, are 14 bucks trout line so we can catch this big predator that we've been hunting for. Baby shad? They look nice I and smell lively. Something stinks. They look nice and lively. Not that you want to make a baby again. shad tank? Mm. They're very active. Guys, I'm so tempted to put like decoys in the pond. How sick would that look? How sick would that look? I mean, they're cleaned out of a lot, but 
Look at these. Now I even have some doves flying out. That may be getting a little carried away, huh? Alright. Let's keep moving. Alright guys, so we bought every single last feeder goldfish that PetSmart had. You probably think I bought these to feed them my fish. No, guys. <laughs> Absolutely yeah, yeah, not. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is for a different project. We'll get on to what this video is actually about right now. All right, guys. So the actual reason for today's video is going to be lies right here in this 1100 gallon monstrous pool pond where we have some super cool stuff. Now, these videos, I've shot so much footage since my brother's going to be here. These videos got a little bit out of order in how we wanted to do them. So like for instance, there's a video that you're gonna see after this one where everything that we do today is not gonna be done because it happened before this. We have some cool things that are gonna happen in this pond, some really cool things that I haven't seen in any other pond on YouTube. Doesn't mean it doesn't exist, I just haven't seen it yet. So um, what I'm gonna do is finish this up because this actually isn't even mounted, it's just uh, up there. So we're gonna line the whole back with bamboo and then we're gonna get to the main part of this video where we at the ducks. <laughs> He's a big boy. Can you see that? Wow. So guys, you can see a lot of beautification. What's another fancy word? Ballerization. Awesomeization has been happening to the 1100 gallon pool pond. We got our do not enter sign. We got our caution psycho fish sign. We got our floating lilies that you can see over there. We even got some more floating all around the monster pond. But there's one added touch, one sick added touch that I'm not sure exists yet in a pool pond. You say I'm not sure because I haven't seen it yet. But let me go get my ducks. Alright guys, I got my little buddies in here. Quack, quack, quack. Just chill out guys, chill out, chill out. I'll show you this is my favorite. I don't know what I want to name him guys. Quack. Quack. <laughs> yeah guys, it happened. I bought some ducks, some decoy ducks for the pond. We're trying to make this thing super sick and natural, right? What better way than to add some cute little duckies to our pond? Now, I bought six ducks, okay, because it came in a pack of six, but I'm not gonna put six ducks in here. That might be a little bit overboard. But I'm thinking two, maybe a male and a female, right? Or maybe a male and two females. So some precautions I took on these decoys, guys, is I um, thoroughly, thoroughly bathed them in hot water prior to putting them in. So we got our duckies. I'm gonna put them in the pond. Let's get let's get a higher up angle so you can see this. So guys, we'll let our duckies go. Actually, let's let the female go first, okay? Ladies first. Ladies first. What should we name her? What does she look like? What do you look like? You kinda look like a like a Tiffany. Let's name her Tiffany. Alright Tiffany, let's go ahead and get in here. You can go swim around. Alright? Quack quack quack. Tiffany is in. Look how sick that looks guys. I wish I had somebody to film for me, but uh, Brother Unconventional is stuck in there on the uh, Xbox. Can't get him off that thing. Teenagers, man. Teenagers. And then, uh, what should we name this guy? Hmm. I got it, guys. Since, uh, since I'm a super bro person, we're going to name him, not Joseph, Brosif. So, Brosif and Tiffany. Let's get Brosif on in there. Give him a little push. Quack, quack, quack. Oh, look at them coming right to each other. Is this amazing, guys, or what? Let's, let's check this out. Look at this, guys. Look at this oasis right here. Brosif, Tiffany, the signage, the monsters over here. Let's, let's show you the monsters. I actually, I got something really good for you guys, okay? This video smashes, so you wanted me to name this fish. This video smashes 400 likes. I'll do an underwater swimming in the pond and name this fish based on how he reacts with me right up in his face. Here is our lily pad with Brosif and Tiffany. Look at Brosif, majestic. You can see all our small bluegill 
I got to do a water change tomorrow, guys. I've been doing a lot of stuff in here. That pot actually has sand in it, so you can see I was dragging it around everywhere. But we got our scape over there. There's the big old sauce boss. There's a fish over there. Okay, so let me let me give you an updated rundown. I told you earlier in this video that things were a little flip-flop. So the next video you see, none of this beautification will be actually done because the fish that we added in here happened prior to all of this. But our current stock right now, there is three largemouth bass in this pond. Yes, I said three. We got the big boy, then we have two about 15 inchers uh, back there as well, right next to our big boy. And then another surprise fish about 14 inches long, different species, super sick. We have a ton of micro, I call them micro gills in here, as well as shiners. The shiners are just in there, guys, as transitional food as these fish transition from the wild. You can actually see that surprise fish back there behind that. Looks like a bass from the top, but he's not, I promise. We got our gigantor monster. <laughs> Goodness gracious. That is a big boy. And to give you like a reference, guys, I mean, this pond is 10 feet long. I gotta get in there and scrub all those stains off too. That's my next course of action with the beautification. 10 feet long and it's six feet front to back. It's a massive, massive pond. But I've done a little bit of stuff, you know, made some filter modifications with how this whole filter works. Um, it's pretty sick. If you wanna see that, if that's something you wanna see, the inside, how my filter works, uh, how I keep this pond running and happy and healthy and pristine, uh, let me know down below. That's something, if that's something you want to see, that's something I can easily, easily do. That's it, guys. We got our ducks in the pond, adding a little bit more flavor to this thing, making it a little bit more sick. If I'm going to go this far with adding some of these monster fish, adding, you know, live pe or pieces of wood directly from their environment, rocks from their environment, I might as well go all the way. Ducks sit in ponds, like, come on. Come on, hope you guys like my new signage back there too. Let me know what you think. So guys, we have one more limited edition Pablo the Paku sticker left. I will be picking the winner from this video. If you want to be entered for the final Pablo the Paku sticker that will ever be given out because it's a limited edition sticker, drop a comment, drop a like. I'm gonna be giving away that final Pablo the Paku sticker. I also, guys, I have four more ducks i got six what about for all my ponders out there should i do a duck giveaway an unconventional duck giveaway let me know down in the comments below if you win and you want this you can get a duck for yourself yes look how nice look how nice he is guys i hope you enjoyed this video maybe inspired some people gave you some new ideas i'm telling you it's not stopping with this pond we're hunt we're constantly on the hunt for new species, 